Good to see you, Griff. Welcome. Mm. It's a Thursday night. It's a Thursday night. What else is in the room? We have one of... <laughs> we have the two thumbs down people in the room right now. <laughs> we have the two thumbs down people. We have three thumbs down people in the room now. We have three thumbs down people. Who, who the hell else is in the room here? We, let's just talk. We're just going to talk here, hang out, fly the plane around. We're somewhere in... Um, Alaska, my dog Indy, out there, out there in Huntington Beach, California. Welcome. Two, of three commenting now. Two of three. Thank, thank you for giving me a thumbs up. We already have a thumbs down already, so we have a th our one thumbs down person from Periscope, obviously in the room because they have notifications turned on. <laughs> We're literally just going to fly around and we're just going to talk, because why not? I mean, that's literally what we're going to do. The PlayStation makes it so easy to to just uh, fly around and talk. Whee! So, thanks for giving a thumbs up. We already have a thumbs down already because our thumbs down person from uh, Periscope is in the room. Anxiously waiting for them to say that Periscope is a bu is a bullshit of lies and only really meant for people who like to troll, right? It's an environment for people who like to troll. What game is this? This is um, I forgot already. A blue a Blue Angels Simulator. This is a simulator game on the PlayStation 4 where they kind of uh, want you to learn how to do aerobatics and all that, and and the controls are pretty good on it. Not as good as on X-Plane, obviously, but, you know, whatever. Beggars can't be choosy. But it, I, I found out that this game has, like, this, like, this, uh, fly-around mode here, where I could just literally just fly around the nice high def. It looks pretty for you guys. Let's go through the canyon over here, just for shits and giggles. A lot of Christmas stuff coming up. Oh, our thumbs-down person has returned. Is there nothing to watch on Periscope? And you're gonna hear me drink beer right now. Tracy Taylor, good to see you. Good to see you, Tracy. We're just flying around talking. Um, some Christmas stuff is about to, uh, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about the, Tracy, you have a, you have a carte blanche to, uh, type in all caps. It's perfectly fine. Our Periscope person wants to keep on tuning in, tuning out. The thing I love about YouTube is sometimes I have like um, omnipotent control, so. But we're just hanging out, just talking. We're just hanging out, talking. That's really pretty much all we're doing. There's some fun stuff um, coming up in the pipeline. They are literally, so, so I found out something interesting, guys. So there are four Winter Lantern Festivals that are going on here in New York City. And I found out that all of them are kind of run by the Chinese government. And they all kind of showcase the same kind of stuff. So I'm trying to figure out whether I'm going to go to the one in uh, Staten Island, the one we went to last year, or there's one way out in Queens that's going to be in the parking lot of City Field, a.k.a. Shea Stadium. And uh, that will be the largest one with over 60 displays. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to go to that one. There's another. There's another one on Randall's Island, which will look pretty cool with like the skyline in the backdrop. But it's like forty dollars, and it's only like 15 displays. Uh, what the f is that all about? So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out a winter lighting, a winter lantern festival. We're going to definitely go to one of the major ones here in New York. And then, uh, obviously, we will be lighting the Boozy, ba boozy Bag of Bell Christmas tree out there in a <clears throat> South Street Seaport. By the way, I'm drinking, by the way, folks. Our Periscope people are back. Our Periscope people keep leaving the room and coming back. What game is this? Good to see you, Adam. Uh, this is uh, 
a, 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 a Blue Angel simulator. It's a Blue Angel simulator here on the PlayStation 4. Oscar Fleetwood's in the house. Good to see you. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up, guys, if you haven't already. I'm trying to weed out how many Periscope people still watch me. <laughs> Lots of Christmas. I'm, I'm actually planning it out, Tracy. This week, this week, um, probably, probably going through Sunday, Monday, planning out what I'm going to show you guys on the live stream here. Uh, what we're going to do for Christmas. We're flying somewhere over uh, Alaska. Endor, Alaska right now, by the way. And this is the Blue Angels flight simulator on the PlayStation 4. I found out they had like this, this just fly around mode here and um, it's the only reason why I bought it. It was on sale for uh, 15 bucks. So I said, why not? <laughs> I'm flying the plane, a plane pretty good, considering that I'm drinking and flying. <laughs> I think I think I'm flying the plane pretty good, considering. <laughs> Let's take another swig of beer here. Oh yeah. I got to give a big shout out to uh, Caesar Milan. Caesar Milan. Caesar Milan doing a response video finally for this episode of South Park that features him. It is a funny video, guys. If, if, if you're not following Caesar Milan uh, here on YouTube, check out that video and maybe give him a follow. So freaking funny. So Griff wants to see some low level flying. So we're going to do that right now. I'm gonna try to go over these mountain peaks here. These little mountain peaks here, guys. I'm gonna just go. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Richard Dreyfuss. You might, you might remember, you might remember me from a movie. It had a shark in it. It was called Jaws. <laughs> just gonna do some low-level flying here. Oh, there's the ocean. There's the ocean. We gotta do some Magnum PI stuff right now. It, you know what, Adam? Give them time, and they will make fun, and they will make fun of Popeyes. Give them some time, and they'll gonna definitely make some make some fun about Popeyes. Let's go right along the coast here. Wee! Ooh, ooh! Almost stalling out the plane. Wow! Look at this weird-ass cliff. That's not very realistic. Am I on the edge of the map? I might be on the edge of the map. Yep, I'm on the edge of the map. We're on the edge of the map. You know, I should just... Oh! Mission failed! Why? Because I was off the edge of the map? Let's replay that shit. Alright, where did I fuck up here? Yeah, see, I was on the edge of the map. I was on the edge of the map. That's exactly what happened. And I was about to turn into the map again. How funny is that? <laughs> oh! Blue Angels Flight Simulator. Oh, look at that flying, though. That's some good flying right there. Right over the ridge. Nice and low. And then I thought I was going to hit the coast and then make a wide uh, right-hand turn over the coast, but it's the edge of the map. There it is. There's the edge of the map. Okay, what happens? Do I blow up or something like that? What happens? He flew off the edge of the map. Thus, he failed the mission. Look at that. I made a nice, look at that. Nice wide right hand turn. All controlled and all that shit. 
the fuck? You can see the edge of the map right there. Okay. Now I know I have to open up the map. There it is. Look at that. That's funny. That's funny looking right there. I'm way off the edge of the map right there. Oh, okay. I crashed. I crashed underneath a mountain. I crashed underneath a mountain because I was at the edge of the map. Go figure that fucking shit out. <laughs> What's my objective? I'm just flying around. I'm just flying around. By the way, me uh, seeing your comments and you hearing me respond is roughly 30 seconds. So keep that in mind. Let's go flying again one more time. I know, right? Is the earth flat? Bloody hell. All right. Let's get back up in the air here. Come on, plane. There we go. Bloody hell, hitting... I don't want to hit the afterburners. I don't want to make noise. Anyway, okay. Let's fly to the edge of the map again and see what the fuck happens. Uh, is the earth flat? Who knows? Ooh, I'm going supersonic. I just broke people's windows. I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Which one's the map? Okay, that, that's our brake. That's the landing gear, right? The landing gear is opening now. Now I gotta close it again. Wah, wah, wah. There we go. And then, is this the map? No. Is that the map? No. Okay, this is our, um... There's our map. Okay. All right, so we're gonna fly through this uh, canyon here. Okay, that's our map, okay. Everything is all set up, all right. In the middle of the night here, here we go. And there's nobody living here, so we could go beyond supersonic. There's our sonic boom right there. Let's bring her down a little bit here. We don't need to go too fast. Who else is in the room? Tell me where you are. We have one Periscope person not commenting. <laughs> are people happy that Trump is moving to Palm Beach? You know, from truth be told, here in New York City, people don't give a shit about that. <laughs> For the real people who take the train every day, they don't give a shit about that nonsense. So nobody cares. The answer, Adam, is nobody cares. That's the truth. People who need to pay their bills and pay rent and all that, they don't care. You know, the media is so funny right now. It's... I, you know, people, I think, forgot how to objectively think. And nobody thinks objectively anymore. Um, everyone just just takes at value what they are spoon-fed by their favorite media outlet, whether it be Fox News or CNN or MSNBC. And uh, nobody thinks on their own anymore. Nobody realizes, you know, what is the source of this news? Where does it come from? Why is it being, you know, uh, propagated? And... Um, in this day and age where the all the information is at your fingertips, a lot of people are being lazy. And because of that, it creates their biases 
and their uh, uh, bigotedness in certain cases about what's going on. Like people who love like mini AOC are the dumbest motherfuckers out there. They're so fucking stupid. But it, they, they're willing to take in what they're spoon fed. And if you're only being spoon fed fo Fox News and Brett Bart and uh, the Daily Caller, the Daily Caller and and Prager U and all this nonsense, you're gonna love somebody like Minnie AOC because she plays into your stooped hard. And um, people need to objectively think more and think for them more than you know more for themselves. And, uh, but people don't do that. It takes work to do that, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. Mini rant. Mini rant. There you go. Mini rant. <laughs> mini rant. As I fly the plane. It's, it, it's the exact purpose of why I wanted to do this live stream. Just rant and fly the plane around. But it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. That was a deep rant if you were paying attention. <laughs> Whee! Waiting for a reaction here to that mini rant. Uh, 30 seconds it takes, roughly. The to uh, see and for me to respond to your comment. We're hanging out. We're talking about anything you want to talk about because why not? Because why not? Okay, we're getting, I think we're getting close to the edge of the map again. Yep, there it is. You kind of bring it up here as I barely clear this cl uh, this ledge here. I'm gonna bring up the map. Where the hell am I? Whoa. Where the hell am I? You're not showing me where the hell I am? For reals? I tried to make good points. I mean, I tried to be concise about what I'm talking about, so... Even when I'm drinking beer. Yeah, no, what I say is get your information from many p viewpoints and then look up the homework. I mean, see why what is happening where. And um, you could easily make up, make up a, a proper outlook on what's going on in the world. If you just think objectively, nobody seems to do that anymore. Like, while everyone's going crazy about what happened in, in Israel, right? They had like one bomb go, well, it was a rocket attack that went off and nobody got killed, nobody got hurt. You know, like six ch children died in Gaza. Six children, like, like under the age of like fucking six. Children died over the last 48 hours, and it seems like the people who, who, who propagated, propagated that death, they're the ones who are labeled as, as the victims, when it's the exact opposite. What's going on in, in Palestine, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, um, it's, it, it's an atrocity. And if more people thought objectively, instead of agreeing, being spoon-fed what they want to believe, or it's the, more like the way it's packaged, um, people will have different outlooks on what's going on. But, you know, unfortunately, um, people have short attention spans. So, Wepa! Good to see you, Osvaldo. Buenvenidos. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure this, there's two Periscope people in the room right now. So make sure you hit the thumbs up right now. Because there's two Periscope people in the room right now who are uh, who are tuning in. So let me know the uh, let me know the numbers. Let me know the algorithm there. <laughs> We're just hanging out talking about 
stuff as I try not to fly off the map here in a Blue Angels simulator. I need more beer, damn it. Fuck. I, here I am coming here with a full beer. I want one more. Whoa. I'm not playing X-Plane. I'm not playing X-Plane. I gotta watch my controls. Is the bar open? Yes, it is. We're just hanging out, talking, flying the plane. Damn it, I need another beer. Damn it. Let's see where the hell I am on the map. They're not showing me. Happy Friday, Cricket Fox. Good morning. Friday is my day off. Go back to work on Saturday. But good to see you, Cricket Fox. Welcome. We're just flying around the, an F-16 Hornet. And uh, look, I do have smoke on. Smoke off. Smoke on. Smoke off. Smoke on. Smoke off. We're just flying around the F-16 Hornet here talking to you guys. Happy Friday, everybody. Flying somewhere over Alaska, in Endor, Alaska. Trying not to break the sound barrier because it's, there's a few homesteaders down below. I'm gonna land the plane and then go into my refrigerator and get another, and get one more beer for this nonsensical live stream here. Very nonsensical live stream. But welcome. Just flying a plane, talking to you. <laughs> Getting a little deep. Getting a little deep talking about some certain topics, so... We gotta land this plane. I, I, I gotta get. I gotta get one more beer. We gotta get one more beer. We gotta land the plane, and then take off again, and uh, we'll do our final stanza here of the live stream. <laughs> We've only been on 24 minutes. Hell, oh, okay. <laughs> I went through that beer fast. Hells yeah, the, the, the lobster rolls at Luke's Lobster are pretty damn good there, Griff. I could go for one of those right now. <laughs> I, could, I could definitely go for one of those right now. Bloody hell, you know what guys, hold on. I'm gonna grab a, uh, let me grab a beer here. It's so good, hold on folks, hold on.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Back. Had to grab myself another beer. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, there's the thumbs up I was waiting for. There's a thumbs up I was waiting for. Okay. Oh, that's the edge of the map all the way out there. Okay, let's go to this island here. Let's go to this island here. It's my apartment decorated for Christmas. It kind of always is decorated for Christmas because uh, in our bedroom we use Christmas lights for lights. <laughs> we use white Christmas lights for lights. So it's kind of always Christmas in our bedroom. But we don't get a tree or anything like that because we go out, we see trees outside all decorated. Why, why, why do we need a tree inside the apartment? <laughs> Why do we need a tree inside the apartment? There's no need for that. There's no need for that. There's no need for that. Alright, we're going out to this island here in the middle of uh, the island. Yeah. There's a way to set up Christmas lights. <laughs> oh, as I'm getting really drunk. It's, it's equivalent to like a 75 watt light bulb, but you could like string them around and it gives off a lot of like even light. So like if you want to like read a book, it's, it's, you know, it's good. Put that shit on a dimmer and it's even better. I highly recommend using Christmas lights for your regular lighting actually. It's something I've been doing for, for, for many a decade at this point. As we fly over a random island. Yeah, I'm flying drunk. Drunk and flying. And of course the live stream will end with me trying to land the plane drunk. So... Another another 32 minutes in this live stream, and then I'm, and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm only doing this to relax and fall asleep. Wee! But this game is a lot of fun. This uh, Blue Angels Flight Simulator is a lot of fun. Use smart lights. Some of them come in Christmas colors. Well, no, we have we only use white light. We we use white. Christmas lights on a string. We put it around our molding and it gives off a nice even light. Sorry to hear that, Cricket Fox. Hopefully, you have a better day today. And uh, thanks for tuning on in. We have mountains over there. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. Jack Volpe, hello. Unfortunately, due to YouTube's new rules, I will have to make all my videos only adult compliant. So if you're under the age of 18, I'm sorry, don't watch me anymore. If you're a little kid, don't watch me anymore because um, YouTube's new rules. And I will be labeling my videos as such. You want my work schedule? <laughs> you work in split shifts. Well, I work uh, uh, four days a week doing my uh, scheduled uh, bicycle tours and walking tours, and then do more tours on, um, not every week, but on Fridays and Sundays, so, and sometimes Saturdays. So, um, yeah. It took me a long time to get my schedule the way I wanted to. Yeah, me too, Cricket Fox. Yeah, I'm marking a lot of my videos. Um, uh, I have decided whether, you know, I know there are a lot of people who watch me who are in their, you know, like 14, 15, 16 years old. 
it doesn't warrant me to to, to um, cater to children anymore, um, unfortunately. While I understand that they may like to watch a, a cyclone ride or two, um, unfortunately, um, I have to say that that's adult content and that's where it's gonna go. So it is what it is. I don't. I really don't care. And actually like that because I I, I always get commenters every now and then and I'll talk about Roblox and Fortnite and it's like okay I understand you're like 12 years old. Um, like here I am doing a flight sim, but we're just. It's not necessarily about the flight sim. It's more about the, 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 like the conversation that we're having right now. And um, it's not for children. Because I might say the F or the S word or whatever. And I may talk about some really complex situations that they may not understand. So, it is what it is. I might even make my channel like 18 plus. I'm like legit thinking about that. Like, even though that will kill me in the, um, it will kill me in the AdSense uh, realm of things. Um, it, it, it may save my ass in the end. Yeah, I know exactly. I'm not doing kids content anyway, but you know, like things could be interpreted as uh, children's content and. I don't want that to happen. No, it's not a bad idea, no. So, it sucks for people under 18, but it, it, it is what it is. You know, and if you don't like it, blame the people who gamed the system. Blame people like Father of Five and all that shit. You know, the, the people who made those family vlogs, blame those motherfuckers because that's why YouTube is the way it is today. And again, it's going to kill me in uh, Ad AdSense revenue, but you guys give me way more in Super Chat anyway, so it doesn't really matter. For me, it doesn't matter. All I care about is giving you guys halfway decent live streaming content whenever I can. And coming up for the holidays, unfortunately, while a lot of children do like to watch me walk down Fifth Avenue, you know, look at the Christmas windows, and mind you, I will do those live streams most likely without cursing one word. Um, those will be adult content because I don't want to deal with the whole new rules of YouTube, if you will. Yeah. Exactly, Cricket Fox. Um, I'm, I'm just, what I'm doing is I want to build a nice foundation for next year because next year there's going to be some really fun stuff that I'm going to do next year and um, I don't want it being marred by the simple fact that maybe, uh, you know, like two or three children are watching and it's like, while I appreciate it, while some of you kids get it, you know, get the content that I'm doing, um, unfortunately, the way everything is working out, um, I may not be allowed to have you here with me. And whether whether that be creating a channel that is for people who are 18 and over, so be it. You may you may need to make your own fresh channel. And deceive the, uh, yeah, better safe than sorry, yeah. Better safe than sorry. And my PayPal, my PayPal has been very, uh, for, fortuitous. Thank you so much, Cricket Fox. Yeah, had a little sneezing fit there. When I start thinking about this nonsense, it's like, that's when I start sneezing. <laughs> nice. Get a vlog out your trip. Nice. Yeah. 
vlog out your trip. You know, this is the thing. Like, like this is the thing I try to explain to Periscope people, is that like you know, the stuff here on YouTube lives. Like you, you you'll be able to watch this. You know, as long as you 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 comply with its terms of service, you'll be able to to, to watch this stuff like decades from now, and it's like saved. You don't get that on Periscope. You don't get you don't get this diary that you could create and I see people doing some amazing stuff on Periscope and it's like what I say to these people is like why aren't you doing it on YouTube because you could watch this down the road um, Periscope is such a it's almost like it will it is like Instagram live where it'll it, it will eventually disappear and um, unless you save it manually and you know go through the hassle of um, you know putting it on a hard drive and whatever YouTube is the future if done right you can make some amazing stuff here on YouTube and it will last hopefully forever and um, while it may be very constrictive with its rules YouTube is the place to be. So, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, you're doing some Christmas lights uh, uh, in the city tomorrow and vlogging out the trip. Nice. How long did it take me to get used to vlogging in public? Uh, no time at all. No time at all, Adam. Uh, the, when I put a camera on myself and I talk to you guys while I'm walking around, um, I think of it like a FaceTime Live. So I don't really think about it, and um, people's reactions around me is is the byproduct of people wanting to know what I'm talking about, and also they want to make it about themselves. A lot of people are very selfish, so um, no matter what I'm talking about, there will always be people who uh, try. Like if you watch my Instagram live from earlier today. There were two couples of people who decided to stand right where I was showing the view of the Brooklyn Bridge. And it's because they knew that I was talking to you guys and they wanted to be, you know, if you will, Instagram famous. So, um, people, you learn about people's inflated selves and, um, as for me... I'm just hanging out with you guys, so it took me no time at all to start to, you know, to be vlogging in public. I mean, I mean right now I'm literally, I'm jerking a beer, I'm very drunk, I'm going to fall asleep, and um, I'm talking to you. I mean, I want to be as relatable and as real to my viewers as possible. So for the one person who gave me a thumbs down, they don't fucking get it. And for the five people who have given me a thumbs up, you guys fucking get it. It's as simple as that. Oh no, it's crazy. Griff, Griff is crazy. You know, Griff, next time you come out here, we're going to, you know, if we're hanging out in Coney Island or whatever, we're, we're going to do a live stream and you're going to see how like people think like it's about them and it's, guess what? It's not. It's not about them. It's not about them. You know, they're, you, guess what? In, in, especially here in New York, you're not that important. You're not that important. No, I don't mean I don't mind being a mod, but the problem is I'm probably not going to catch you live because uh, when I'm broadcasting and when I'm doing this kind of stuff, I'm like all in. But when I'm not watching, I'm I, I like tune out. I like I have no notifications turned on. You know, while I, I want to have notifications turned on for you, Cricket Fox. Uh, when you go live, I, I need to just disconnect from all this. So I appreciate it, I really do, but I like to I like to just tune out from everything. And like I don't check my Twitter feed. Like if I check my Twitter feed, it's literally like eight in the clock. It's, I check my Twitter feed like on the subway at like eight o'clock in the morning, and then I literally have to take myself away from it and not check my Twitter feed until maybe 6 or 8 o'clock at night. Like, I, I just disconnect from everything on the phone. But that's in order to, to, to be able for me to give you guys the best content when I do go, 
when I do go on live. If that makes any sense. If that makes any sense. Good to see you, Dave. Yeah, I, I tune out. I tune out a lot. I tune out a lot. And it's because, like, people send me, like, horrible... I get a lot of, like, from, from Periscope people, I get, like, some really, like, horrible, like, direct messages. Like, I, I gotta read... I, and, and, and I want to read it because I want to know where they're trying to come from. But it's, like... It's, it's a lot... It, there are a lot of selfish people out there, and I'm trying to filter out the selfishness from the people who are good. And lately, there are a few people who who come on here and, you know, I gotta wake up and read like a four paragraph, like fucking rant about, about my YouTube video that I put up, and it's like... <sighs> It kills the mood. It kills the mood. I'll see you later there, Adam. Thanks for tuning on in. <laughs> Thanks for tuning on in, Adam. Yeah, you know, I want, I want to screw the mean people, but I also want to know where they're coming from. If that makes any sense. Like, I want to, I want to, I, I, I want to try to understand why they're saying what they're saying. But in the end, what I realize is that these people are only saying what they're saying because they need attention themselves. They're not really coming from anywhere rational. They're coming from a place of like, I want you to hear me. And when you, here's the crazy thing. They have my fucking ear. So like I, I, I'll say like metaphorically, you have my ear. I'm hearing what you're saying. And then they don't have really anything to say. This is the thing. They don't have really anything to say. It's all about critiquing what I'm doing. And they're not coming from anywhere rational. It's, it's all about what's in their head at the moment. And um, in the end, like you said, Dave, from the great state of Georgia, I delete and I don't even respond to it. But do I... Do I take it to heart? Sometimes I do. Because they clearly are watching me and they are critiquing what I'm doing at, every, at any given moment. And I want to understand and empathize with where they're coming from. But where they're coming from is like nonsensical kind of like, well, you could get attention, but I can't. And, it's, and in the end, it's like, well, Nobody wants to give you attention because you're not really doing anything. So do you want people to give you attention because you're not doing anything just because you want attention and, you know, you have some preconceived notions about getting out of the house and can't really make or create anything? And uh, this is the fundamental problem with, um, with uh, 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 social media is that you have people who want to have a community and and have if you will all all you guys all my friends like you Dave and and, and Craig and Fox and and, and and you know all you, you guys know who you are you know the community they want to have a community but not really create and make anything they just want to criticize and when you only criticize for the most part, you're never gonna have a following because anyone could crit anyone could criticize. Anyone could criticize about what anyone is doing. It takes gumption, it takes strength, it takes kind of not giving a fuck to create something. Because guess what? In the end, and I I've said this a million times, I'm selfish. My Twitter feed's about me, it's not about you. And, <laughs> you know, it, it, this is about me. And as for me, as a tour guide, as a, as a person who has a profession, all this is doing is helping me create something that hopefully for you as a consumer, you guys find interesting and worth willing, you know, you know worthwhile to watch. So, 
<laughs> I'm describing Ron. See, here's the deal with Ron Waxman. Ron Waxman is a narcissist. And it's always about himself. So, like, when you even... When you listen to Ron Waxman's 9-11 story... His 9-11 story is... He's the last one who found out about 9-11 because he slept through the whole morning and blah, blah, blah. And I'm pretty sure that's accurate. But when you listen to that story fundamentally, it's about Ron Waxman. It's not about what happened here in New York City. It's about Ron Waxman to, Ron Waxman to experience. So when you have a narcissist, you know, it's always about themselves. So the sun rises, the sun sets, because you got to see it on Ron Waxman's scope. But for me, it's, it's, it's a sh I try to make it an, a shared experience. And this is what the people on Periscope don't understand, is I want this to be a, an experience that we all um, enjoy and are in the moment and kind of experience. It, again, my live streams, even this one right now, it's not about me. It's about you guys as a community talking amongst yourselves and asking me questions. It's not about me flying a plane here in PlayStation 4. So. <laughs> you want all in the family? You want Andy Griffin? Me too, Dave. Me too. Absolutely, Cricket Fox. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So. When it comes to live streaming, this is what people don't understand, is that when you have a personality that's trying to be all-inclusive, truly all-inclusive, the bullshitters always shine like diamonds. And people like me, we hang out and we hang out in, in the background. And um, for the people who get it, you guys are here. And if you don't get it, then too fucking bad. I don't care. I'm on the edge of the map right now. But Ron Waxman makes it all about himself, no matter what. That's his. That is his. That is his. You know, his standard. I have beer. Thank God I have beer. I'm going to take a big swig of beer right now. Here we go, folks. I appreciate that, Countess. Good to see you. Good to see you, Countess. Welcome. I try to be personable for you guys. You know, I try to be, like, rel relatable and, more importantly, approachable. So, for the people who you know, who want to meet up or whatever, you can, but there are certain rules, like you need to create a rapport, and there is no just like, I'm going to hang out with you next week. It doesn't work like that. You got to, you got to be a part of the community before we hang out. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun, Cricket Fox. That sounds like a lot of fun. Christmas, the Christmas season yields a lot of really good content, and uh, no matter where you are, there's always something happening that I always recommend, hey, if you want to live stream it, fucking live stream it. Show it off to the world. Why not? <laughs> Dave, you know what I mean, man. Very approachable, you know. I'll have a beer with you. You know what I mean. Griff knows exactly what I mean. Griff knows exactly what I mean. Hanging out with Griff a couple of weeks ago was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And I'm and I'm ama I'm still amazed that Griff wanted to see the transit museum. I'm still amazed by that. <laughs> we'll ride the cyclone one day, Cricket Fox. We'll ride the cyclone one day. <laughs> Come out here to New York. We're riding a cyclone one day. There's a lot of stuff going on with Luna Park and Coney Island right now. It's kind of scary. I appreciate that, Griff. Thank you for getting it, because I know you get it. I know you get it. I really do appreciate that. 
It was awesome. That was a lot of fun for me. That was a lot of fun for me. I mean, to give you, I mean, to give Griff an idea of what it was like to like build the subway. That was kind of cool. Yeah, next year, and now in a few months, in a few months, the Wonder Wheel turns a hundred years old. Oh my God, the clock's going so slow right now. <laughs> <laughs> Flying over Endor, Alaska, I think. Endor Air Force Base, Alaska. All right now, flying at the edge of the map. The edge of the map is right off to our left-hand side. Hanging out, talking to you guys. <laughs> Have like two more, two more good gulps left of the beer. Okay, Fifty-one minutes on the live stream. This morning's YouTube. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Instagram live live uh, live stream was hilarious. So, I mean, I mean, everyone. I'm amazed how many people think everyone everything's about themselves. And we had like two couples who were like, bloody hell, you guys, this one woman walked like in, in like a three foot wide span in front of me just, just to be on the live, she knew I was live streaming, this is the problem. Live streaming, people know what it is now. But they want to walk in front of it, you know, they want to walk in front of it. <laughs> Whee. Right on the edge of the map. We're right on the edge of the map. There's our sunset behind us. <laughs> yeah, stalking the cameras. Yeah, it's so it was so weird. Whee. There's the edge of the map, right there. I mean, I was amazed by that one couple that like. We, we literally walked away from them and then they still decided to walk in front of the camera like that was some ridiculous shit but like I get that all the time like I'm, I'm kind of used to that now and I realize that like you know a lot of people on social media they do that professionally they, they you know they get to get in front in front of people's cameras intentionally because it, sh it gives them like exposure and whatever I so I have somebody I mean, I'll talk to you guys about a, an ongoing issue I'm having. So there's a Periscope person who I'm trying to be nice to. And he, you know, he wants, like, this, like, real made. And he's going to put it on fucking YouTube. And and it's like a, a, it, it's like a series of clips taken from his Periscope videos. And he wants me to create a, a, a reel for him. And he's going to pay me with an Instagram post. And I told him that, like, I, I, Instagram doesn't pay my, I, I, an Instagram post doesn't pay my cell phone bill. <laughs> and he got all upset. And I'm like, I have, I have two times the amount of Instagram followers than he does. He has 300, he has 300 Instagram followers. I'm pushing to a thousand. And I'm like, I have like almost double the amount of followers than you have like like an Instagram post means nothing to me but he's like oh no but it's like no I'm not gonna make a video for you and spend wh wh whoever knows how many hours making a a, 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 a video for you and, and you're gonna put you're gonna, you're gonna tag me in a post get the fuck out of here um, it's pretty crazy crooked fox yeah, exactly. It can be considered in a rude way. <laughs> yes, indeed, Cricket Fox. Yes, indeed. But, I mean, yeah, somebody wants to pay me in, like, an Instagram mention. It's like, it doesn't work like that. Like, I I have people who give me money to make videos in, like, a day. And they're giving me money for that. It's... Then I, an Instagram... An Instagram post does not pay the cell phone bill. 
And he's all pissed off at that. He's all pissed off at me now. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell this person anymore because I want to help him out, but again, pay, uh, paying me in, in an Instagram, paying me in an Instagram post doesn't pay the fucking cell phone bill. I'm sorry. Thanks for following me on Instagram, Cricket Fox. I'm a fun follow on Instagram. I'm a, I'm a fun follow, I think. <laughs> Let's land this plane. I'm going to land the plane now. I, I, I ranted enough with y'all. I ranted enough with y'all. It's time to land the plane. I tried to be a fun fellow. We're going beyond the speed of sound already. I'll see you later, Cricket Fox. Have a great day. Yeah, we're going to land the plane. I'm going to end this uh, live stream here. It's time for me to go to bed. We ranted enough, and hopefully you guys took notes on pen and paper. To see where I'm coming from. I, I do private tours all the time, Countess. If you want to private tour me, direct message me on, on, um, on Twitter. At least a month before you want to do your tour, because... I do schedule myself at the beginning of the month, or two weeks before the beginning of the month, so, um, you know, send me a message, good to see you, 80s music fan. But direct message me on Twitter if you want to do a private tour with me, and uh, we'll get something cooking. But like I said, I do I do schedule myself at, at two weeks in the middle of the month. So, it's, so like right now, I'm planning out my schedule for, um, I'm actually planning out my schedule for January already. So, um, because it is holiday season, so. But direct message me. Awesome. Yeah, please DM me. Yeah, please DM me. Let me know. Let me know in time. And I'll let you know what I'm doing. I do have a regular job. That's the whole thing. I do have a regular job that I work at and have a schedule with. So, But you could even come on my... Uh, my regular tours over the bridges if you know how to ride a bike obviously but we do have electric bikes so if you want to float over the bridges <laughs> oh no I have no more beer we gotta land the plane I have no more beer oh no that landing gear What the hell is this runway? This runway is like right in front of me. Oh, there it is. Okay. That is it. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a fun landing. Here we go. Okay, no, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Alright, we got to land. We can, we got to line it up here. Uh, I may be drunk. But I do want to land the aircraft properly. Alright. Oh, this is going to be a fun landing. Here we go, guys. We're going to do uh, a 180. 
because I'm all drunk. We're gonna do a, a 180 degree turn and then we're gonna land the plane. Here we go, folks. Wee. Where's that runway? There it is. Ooh, I got a, I got a landmark. All right, let's bring her in. I'm drunk. It's time for me to go to bed. Thank you for indulging me in this nonsensical live stream. Okay, we got our landmark. Bring her down. Looking good. All right, this this is a really fun. This is a really fun flight sim. All right, guys, gonna land here in a Endor, Alaska. Here we go. Oh, there it is. I, I, I sleep well there, Dave. Oh no. I don't want to crash. Oh no, did I really crash? Ah, uh, I stalled out. Mission failed. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night, guys. Please DM me if you want to go on a tour. But from the internet, from PlayStation 4, this is Dutch Maz signing off. Have a fantastic internet day. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Grip. Have a fantastic internet day. Whether you live here or not, hug your loved ones, cherish your moments. And good night, Mrs. Calabash. Wherever you are. Nighty night, folks. Nighty night. <laughs>